So everybody has heard of the interview. It has to be one of the craziest stories in film production history. From Sony dropping the film altogether, to North Korean bomb threats on theaters that showed the movie, anything that could have gone wrong, definitely did go wrong. But it was finally released on a couple different platforms like iTunes, and I finally got to see it. And now, I'm going to tell you what I think about it. So to be honest, I thought the movie was going to be absolutely terrible. I mean, all the hype for this movie was crazy. I knew it wasn't going to live up to its standards. I was amazed by the moments that had me on the floor laughing. I'm not a huge fan of Seth Rogen in his acting parts. I kind of do enjoy some of his directing parts. But all in all, I don't really enjoy his acting. He's just kind of a mediocre actor and, you know, it's just not that great to me. But in this film, I was actually very surprised by his acting. I mean, he was funny, he was serious when he needed to be, and overall, he was just a pretty freaking good actor. And James Franco and Seth Rogen are just like two peas in a pot, so it j they just worked. I really thought it was just going to be another Seth Rogen film, like This is the End, which I absolutely hated. But it actually turned out to be pretty decent. And it has a lot of moments where you would be laughing so hard that you're on the ground. It's crazy. With all the hype around this movie, I really didn't figure it was going to be that great, but it really did surprise me, and that's why for my final verdict of this film, it would be an interview between Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee.